Check out my brand new book on tiny house living and designs down below in the descriptions and a link to our film on building a tiny house. All right, before I pick it, take a guess. What do you think this is? Not glass. What's up, guys? Deke, RelaxShacks.com and Streets Shall Provide. Might be a little more excited about this than I should be. But perhaps you're here checking out this video because you too are into mudlarking, bottle hunting, and just searching for whatever. We're here at Ames Pond, Stoughton, Massachusetts. We've been experiencing a drought this summer, but finally had some substantial rain. I wish I was here just a few days ago. But at this pond, as I turn the camera around, uh, it's very low compared to where it usually is. Not as low as it was a week ago, so I've kind of missed that window. But uh, I figured I'd try my hand at making some mud pallets, which I did in the last video, or one of the most recent videos. Check that out, link down below. Figured I'd try those out, see how they work, the homemade almost no dough ones, and see what we could find here in the mud. All right, here we go. Already I'm seeing some interesting stuff. Look at the size of these snails here. A lot of random lumber and such. Looks like someone's sweatpants. Well, I'm sinking quite a bit. What doesn't help is I weigh 230 pounds. I see these mud liking videos where it's like these sprightly folks that weigh 120 are dancing in the mud. That's not gonna be the case here. I have to be pretty careful. We'll see what happens. You can hear I'm close to the road. Everywhere I step, I'm scaring frogs away like crazy. Look at that guy right here. See him? Center of the picture. Yeah, this is some pretty slippery, nasty mud. It's working though, but I'm just, like I haven't done this before, so it's kind of worrying me how much I'm sinking. Just as I think I can go down even further, it stops. Oh, that's pretty gross. And I do not want to get caught in this. It's like quicksand. There's someone's kayak paddle right there, all warped. Random find number one. Well, it's a Ballantine camp, but this, I was wondering if it's like a turtle shell it's a coconut which is super random how the heck did that get here i think what we're going to find it's so muddy here that if there's anything to be found it's probably way way under that mud where it won't be visible but these are working if i get out there it gets a little too soupy where it's basically like thinly veiled masked water with mud and sludge floating atop it so that's a little bit dangerous over here near the edges it's working pretty well Look at this here, it's like a half log for like a bench, it's huge. That'd be awesome for like your garden or landscaping if I could ever get that out of here. And over here, more coconut shells, what the heck? I see the butt end of a bottle over there, not sure if I can get to it. I'm sinking pretty good, there's another frog. Gotta be careful here. Probably just like a Budweiser bottle. What the heck is that? It looks like the scoop for a front end loader. I doubt it is, probably an engine part or something. But yeah, those are definitely coconuts. How incredibly random. All right, probably nothing. This would be a mistake or could be a mistake. This is where it starts getting real soupy. I sink so far that I might not be able to get out. It's probably just a red straight bottle, but yeah, I see I'm starting to go down. Oh, I'm so close. Got it. What the heck? It's smaller than a red stripe bottle. I'm not sure what it is. I'll clean it up in a sec. I'm getting stuck. Time to back up. Yeah, all the mud. See these videos, a lot of the stuff that gets stuck on the shoes. It doesn't come off that easy and weighs you down. So this is just me testing these out. Here we are closer. What the heck is that thing? Anyone know? Interesting. It looks heavy. I'm not going for it. Here's the close-up. Not embossed, nothing that interesting, but it's a very small bottle. Probably like a pony beer bottle, I don't know. Kind of neat, intact. Probably not that old. Uh, we plan on growing 
flowers, my daughter and I, and selling them roadside on our system style. This could be a neat little vase that someone can take with them. So I'll pull that out of the pond. This way, no one, when they launch uh, their kayaks here, which is what this spot is sometimes used for, they won't step on something like that. But man, it is muddy. Uh, I found some copper tubing as well. Couldn't get close enough to that, that thing over there. I was just thinking too much and it looks like it's made of like cast iron so I don't know what it is. Please uh, leave a comment below if you do, but I'm not going for it. Not yet. Well that was uh, not so fruitful. Found a couple things. It was just too muddy there, like soupy, so it's probably just the wrong locale. It's not one of those tidal flats. I need something where the substrate's a little stronger and maybe I just weigh too much for those things and need to make them bigger. Maybe that's all it is. Um, when they get stuck in the mud, they really get stuck. So you got to be careful because if you lose one in the mud, all of a sudden, like, where are you going to step with the other foot while you're trying to fish it out? It might lead to more trouble. What I'm going to do right now, if you're still with me, I'm going to head. I got like an hour to kill, maybe not even. On my way back to a creek we've hit before with my daughter, whether the video is up or not, near a former mill site. The ruins or foundation of a mill is a creek running through there, a chute. Uh, the mill was from the early 1800s, close to my home. Haven't been there in months. Want to see if anything else has been unearthed bottle-wise. We found some cool stuff there before. Uh, had limited time then and have limited time now. Let's see what's in store. So here we are again. Remains of an old road. That road probably wasn't here. That's Mill Street right now. This one you can see continues through the woods that way. Uh, hasn't been used. Well, it's not even paved, so it's certainly old maybe just an access road to the mill that was here and the chutes down this way again another video lots of stuff here most of it busted it's very clear here which is nice and getting buggy so this might be a short trip i didn't think about that here in the shade we were looking here last time and everywhere you look just glass glass a lot of it pretty old too. Everywhere, busted up, it's crazy. That's a mason jar. That's pretty thick, I don't know what that was. We found a couple intact ones. Chances are very slim. Probably an old wine bottle, but there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of rocks too, and it's kind of fast running probably at times, so that will limit what we find. Oh, look at this. These are some we might have piled up last time, I think old 7-Up bottle, not that old. Cool though. There's just a lot of stuff buried in the mud. If you metal detected here, you can find a lot of beer tabs, but maybe some coins. I don't know. Probably worth a try at some point. Some of the ones we stashed in a pile last time, kind of hidden. This, no markings out, but kind of cool. A random Bud Light bottle. I don't think that was here last time, so someone else has been here and added their, their bottle to the collection. Some cool stuff, there's gotta be something else here. All right, so I'm stomping around. I've come quite a ways, I didn't film any of it. Uh, into the woods here, a little bit ill-equipped, uh, be it the mosquitoes. So look at this tree that fell over here, huge. Mosquitoes, just the gear I have, just taking a quick peek here. And I'm standing on one of the Many tires you seem to find at these creeks. How do they get this far in? I don't know. They probably just wash their way in. And there's what looks like a bottle under me. So I turn the camera on so we can see if it's something in real time that's awesome or just like a blue Bud Light bottle. I hope it's a cobalt bottle. That'd be amazing, but it might just be crap. So I'm standing in the tire here. See that right there? Kind of buried. Let's see what that is. Please be something cool. Yeah, I bet it's just a Bud Light bottle. Yeah, it's just a beer bottle. Fricka, fracka, uh, dog head, whatever. Little shark logo on it. That stinks. That was buried in there pretty good, too. Darn it. Just did some trailblazing, get through a choked out part of the river. Sort of area where it's a little sexier, clearer, and more tires. Come on. I'm trying to see in this one area, there's like a deep spot here, but it's just with the glare, it's real tough. So I'm going to fish around in there and keep looking. Finally, something cool. <laughs> hey, I'll keep it. These add up after a while and I sell them. So much stuff here. I was just doing some bushwhacking. 
thinking maybe in the floodplains I could find something, but I'm back in the riverbeds. Uh, is that 1800 something? Anyone know what that is? Piece of something, unfortunately. Some uh, dinnerware from England. Another piece of something. It's just, it's everywhere. Craziness. Oh, that one's newer. Just pieces of stuff everywhere. That would have been something interesting. All right, before I pick it, take a guess. What do you think this is? Not glass. Is it a radio? <laughs> this looks like it's a place where partying has been done. There's a lot of bottles and booze nips and probably high schoolers and college kids come back here to booze it up. I wish I had gloves. Let me use a stick. What the heck? It's pretty large, whatever it is. And really worked in the roots. What the heck? Is it? Yeah, no way. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Worthless to me, but it's just neat finding that. An old Philco. Jeez. So cool, there's where the handles were. Like, how long has that been back here and why? Where, you know, people in the, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, I don't know when this is from, partying back here and brought this to picnic with. I have a few cold ones with. So I did a little research and apparently it's a Philco transistor radio and this particular model was from 1950. I see this over here too. Used to be something awesome. It feels heavy. Oh, it's an old Coke bottle, okay. Printed, not embossed, still kind of cool. Problem is once you wash these, little labeling uh, they, comes right off. I'm finding more stuff on land than I am in the water this time. Yeah, that's junk. This sadly, actually the radio is the coolest thing so far. This is okay. This looks, nah, it's got a plastic cap. But if it's pretty, I take them anyway. And it's not, just a Gordon's gin bottle probably. We'll hike that out of here. Okay, the radio is kind of a cool find because it shows me that on land here, near the retaining walls and the rubble of this mill area, there is something, some stuff. It's not the bottles I was looking for, but there might be some interesting stuff here. So it warrants me returning at some point when I have time, more daylight, and bug spray. But I can pick around a little bit more just to see if we can find anything unusual. This is kind of fun. Some of you might remember these, the 1980s Sprite bottles. See that? With like the plastic wrapper. Absolutely worthless, but kind of cool. As a kid, I used to drink those. Getting very overgrown here. And lots of piles and actually there's a huge mess of debris back there, but I think that's just roadside debris that people when they walk by just chuck it there. And you can see at one point in time, this huge, almost lintel sized stone was right here and fell out. That thing's a beast. Aluminum keg can diet. Oh, pe oh peels, okay. See, peels I'm familiar with, but like the 1980s peels, my father used to drink it quite a bit, my Easter brow, all that. Here's the pull tab version. It'd be a cool can, kind of, if it wasn't so crushed up. Here's a high life pull can, pull tab. This. Oh, a pony bottle for something. What I want to do here is come back at some point and carefully, uh, you know, just take a metal rake and remove the top layer of leaves and loose soil just to see what's hidden under the leaves. Keep in mind all the stuff that's hidden below there. I mean, we've had hundreds of years of leaves falling, decaying, obscuring things. So if you're, you're looking for a bottle that laid in the ground in the 1850s, it might be under a lot of dirt at this point, but the rake might help. Every time I come out here without my daughter when she's not in the mood to go mudlarking with me, I always hope I'm gonna find something so awesome that she'll be jealous and inspired to come out the next time. So I tell you what, if this video gets 100 likes or 100 comments, I will make sure she's in the next video, uh, which will behoove you because she finds all the cool stuff. She's got way better eyes than I do. That's why we call her Eagle Eye. And this is certainly a first. If we're having a contest for most unusual or interesting item, a disco ball certainly would take the cake. Next to a huge 
chunk of fence not nearly as interesting here's where we came from here's where we're going heading back upstream now visibility is gonna be a little bit better but we're losing light nothing crazy today as we pass the disco ball yet again I like to think even when I don't find anything good I'm doing my service to the community and the woods by clearing the creek of spider webs with my face I've walked through so many of them today uh, coke bottle was kind of cool golf ball a lot of remnants of bottles nothing too amazing but it's still fun doing this I tell you and every once in a while, when you find something, because you don't find them nonstop, it makes the thrill of finding that item that much more exciting. I do not have my hopes up. It's been kind of a crap day for finding stuff, but there's a tiny little bottle here, probably just a modern nip, but you never know. And it's a plastic nip. Darn it. All right, here's another one. It looks like a screw top from here, but again, if it's pretty, I'll take it anyway. Ah, it's plastic, even worse. Not my day. All right, back home, all cleaned up, hair like Kramer. Uh, it's actually the next morning, but that was the end of that video. Found a couple cool things. Again, if you have any expertise, let me know what I have there. I actually just got a call last minute to do a house clean out. Saw some pictures of it. The place looks ridiculous, like pedal cars, old antique sleds crazy amount of stuff that's going in the trash tomorrow so that will be our next video if you want to see that be sure to subscribe leave a comment down below again looking for your input and some of the things we found hit that bell for notifications thank you for watching and we will see you later i'm off to do some serious serious picking wish me luck